What's up everybody? It's TR Rion. Welcome back to my channel. I hope <laughs> girl, why are you laughing? Because <laughs> you're whatever. Uh <laughs> it's TR Rion. It's TR Rion. It's TR Rion. And don't you forget it. Everyone is having a great day. It's having a happy new year. A few days ago, it's the first day of spring, so the weather is quite nice in the A. It's been a little bipolar, but whatever. We're outside with it today. Um, I have a special guest. Special guest, can you say your name? Hey guys, I'm Bianca. Bianca, and say like one fun fact about yourself. <gasps> um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't like sushi at all. What? I think it's gross. Really? Yeah, it's gross. Really? I like sushi. Not like every type of sushi, but I like I could, like shrimp tempura, you know. I can fuck with it. No, no not really. No. Okay, but anyway, so one of my friends asked me a question on my Instagram. And by the way, if you don't follow me on IG, it's x underscore trbeyond, please follow me. I posted a photo of just topics or any questions that people think I would be good at answering or just they just want me to answer. So my homeboy dropped a question and asked me when does lying become a health concern and i just thought bianca was like the perfect person to help me answer this question and we're about to start right now lying becomes a health concern honestly at the very first lie because to me it's like okay well if this person lies to me once then most likely they're liable to lie to me again and again and again and again do you feel the same like when you think lying or when it first starts honestly it becomes a health concern at the very first lie yes so i do agree however right i will say this normally like when you meet people you don't meet the like Right. So, with that, we only meet the reputation or like who they want you us. Got like a little, you know when the wind blows. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. But yeah. So you meet the like person that they want you to, to meet. meet. Yeah. You know, they don't tell you they don't want you to see how they act yet. when they mad right. when they sad right. you know when they are too happy like right. you know so i mean even then though i don't think that is a lie technically i just think that is them putting their best foot forward and just to piggyback off of what bianca says when you first meet somebody you really don't know their true selves it's kind of just like what they want you to see until you guys are, I guess, finally at that point, we're like, okay, we cool, we kicking it, whatever, we friends, we're in a romantic partnership, whatever your relationship might be. But then after a while, you really start to get this, to know this person, you start to get to know their actions, their emotions to certain situations, and you kind of know when somebody's lying to you. Yes. And you might not have the facts presented in front of you, but personally me, I can tell when I'm being lied to, I can tell by, you know, certain people's reactions, they might start to lie. It, it, it really bothers me and it starts to become a health concern because it brings on a lot of stress it brings on a lot of anxiety on both the liar and the victim yeah well for me right i can tell when a person is lying by my gut feeling Thank you. so Thank it's you. like i just know and then with that stress i become paranoid in a sense so it's like I'm just going to question literally every single thing you say, exactly. you know? So it's like, I can't trust you and then like, without trust, can't have a relationship, whether that is romantic, a friendship, family, like, if there's no trust, what are you doing? Piggybacking off of what she said, not only does it bring stress and anxiety, but it also brings about other negative emotions. You're not able to trust anymore. You're starting to question that person. It might bring on guilt, depression, fear, unhappiness, whatever it may be. So again, I mean, all of this, is a, it takes a toll on you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. It definitely takes a toll on you. Physically, um, physically too, just saying. 
I could definitely say it's stressful on the liar's part because they have to make sure that all of their lies are aligned. So they're telling one story after another just to make sure that it makes sense. It's also stressful on the liar because they have a guilty conscience. You know, you're, they're pro you're probably not the only person that they're lying to, but they definitely have a guilty conscience about um, whatever that they're doing. And then also, they have to deal with the emotions of the victim or the person that they're lying to. Of course, if, if you're being lied to, you're not... <laughs> that doesn't bring happiness. Like, you're not going to feel okay about that. So that Yay, the other person, you lied to me. Right. The other person's definitely going to feel angry and upset towards the liar. On the victim's behalf, I mean, they might know that they're being lied to, or they might not know that they're being lied to. Most most of the time you kind of know because of that gut instinct that Bianca was talking about and then also they have to deal with the liar's guilty conscience because once that liar lies they try to put everything on the other person just to make them feel good about themselves but in reality it's just kind of like okay you have to get your shit together <laughs> like you honestly have to get your shit, shit together and then on top of that they have to deal with all of the emotions that come with being lied to so again you're feeling depressed you can't trust this person um, you're unhappy it brings guilt and fear and all of this other stuff and i feel like we had a conversation low-key not really the same thing about this earlier but then it all boils down to respect at the end of the day that individual yes. does not respect you if they continuously lie to you because we all deserve the truth right so like everybody in this world deserves respect okay and i mean respect as a human being so it's like if you feel the need to lie to me something's wrong right. because i will honestly respect you 10 times more if you tell me the truth yeah. okay yeah Within that time frame. Yes. yes. <laughs> Within that time frame. Yes. Do not think it is okay to tell me the truth when you're caught because at the end of the day, you still lie. You still lie. Okay? And you had, and it's not like they never really didn't have an opportunity to be truthful to you, but you decided to take that and still lie, you know? <laughs> Which sucks. Nobody Why? wants to do that. <laughs> it's not healthy whatsoever. It's not healthy at all. Yeah, that's. That's our thoughts on lying yeah. and how it is a health concern. So thank you to Mr. Terrius who asked me that question on IG. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Bianca, for being a nice guest here on my channel. I you are so y'all. And by the way, this is my line system. Hey. Yes, this is my hey. uh, sassy six, if you know what I mean. Six gone, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yes, um, anyway, you guys, it's TR Brianna. And don't you forget it. Don't forget to follow me on social media on Instagram, X underscore TR Brianna. Go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, X underscore TR and James. And we are out, Weenie. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for watching.